Thank you for selecting a Pulsive Heater cooling tower controller for your application. This video is intended to familiarize you with the Microvision EX controller. Please refer to the detailed information in the installation manual that was provided with your controller. And as always, adhere to all local, state, and national codes. The settings page is where you'll configure your probes, conductivity, pH, ORP, and any of your 4 to 20 peripherals. All probe types are configured the same way. This is an example of how to set up your conductivity probe. The pH and ORP probe will be done identically. To set up your conductivity probe, you need to choose your set point type. You can choose between rising or falling. Rising type means that the output activates when the input goes above the set point. Falling type activates the output when the value goes below the set point. Your set point is where the desired function will begin. The differential, or dead band, is the offset value which must be satisfied before the relay will turn off. Limit timers can also be enabled. The limit timer is the maximum amount of time you will like the relay to remain on until an alarm is triggered. You can set whether you would like the relay to remain on or turn off upon an alarm state triggering here. Calibration of your probes is also essential. Some things to remember is that temperature fluctuations can affect some readings. Make sure the probes are in the desired solution for a minimum of 10 minutes. If using a handheld to calibrate, also make sure the handheld has temperature compensation. High and low alarms can also be configured. These are values which, if the reading goes beyond, will trigger an alarm. If you have a 4 to 20 output board, this can also be configured here. First, make sure it is enabled from the configure menu. To set up a 4 to 20 output board, you will first need to configure the type. After setting the type, Go to the settings page. This is where you will scale the reading. Here you can tie the actual probe reading to a milliamp value. Four to twenty input boards can also be configured. It's very similar to configuring your four to twenty output. First, you must specify the type. After specifying your type, you then need to calibrate the board. You may need buffer solutions to perform this. The top row indicates your low point. The bottom row is the high point. You will need two buffer solutions. Place your probe in its low buffer solution. Wait for the unit to adjust Enter the correlating value into the controller and enter through just the top row. Next, place your probe in your high buffer solution. Wait for your unit to adjust again. Enter the correlating value and then enter through the bottom row. Your 4 to 20 input board should now be configured. This has been a short overview of the Microvision EX. If you have any additional questions, refer to your manual, contact your local sales rep, visit our website, pulsatron.com, or call our tech support department.